Welcome to Section 4 of our Viral Marketing Video Training. In this section, we'll talk about going wildly viral with Facebook, going wildly viral with Pinterest, going wildly viral with Twitter, going wildly viral with Reddit, and going wildly viral with StumbleUpon. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Going wildly viral with Facebook. One of the reasons why viral content is so prominent in recent times, when compared to many years ago, is that viral content used to go viral through word of mouth and email forwarding. Now it's because of social media. Social media makes viral content spread so easily that right now you don't think twice about something when it goes viral. You just think it's business as usual. That is exactly why you should like it. When you take a look at the sources of traffic from all types of viral websites, not only from the most popular ones, you'll realize that most of that traffic comes from social media networks and not from, say, organic searches. That is because viral content gets shared on social media first, and then spreads from it. In the past, sources of viral content were not that easy to spot, or were just plain unpredictable. You now are in a time when the preferred platform for releasing viral content is social media, because social media makes it so, so easy for marketers to post viral content. We have designed Section 4 of our training to help you leverage the power of social media, and we will start with Facebook. Why Facebook? Well, Facebook is the most widely used social media platform to date, and there's a lot to gain from using it to post your viral content. Now, let's get into the basics. Creating a Facebook page for your viral website. To get started on Facebook and to get all those sweet shares and likes, you'll need to create a page for your viral website in the platform, which is an easy task. There are two important things that we recommend you have ready to go before you start, because these are important for the process. A name for your Facebook page. You need to enter a name for your viral website's Facebook page, just like when you introduced your name when you set up your Facebook account. The easiest and most practical route is to go with the actual name of your website, although you can use a longer name as long as it stays relevant. A profile image for your Facebook page. Your Facebook page needs a profile picture to identify it. A common practice for viral websites is to use the name of the website against a color background, but you can also use one that can be easily recognizable as yours. On Facebook, go to the sidebar menu on the left and click on Create Page. You'll see multiple page options, but the best way is to go with the brand or product. Select Website from the drop-down menu, enter the name of your viral website, and click on Get Started. Next, you'll need to enter a short description and your website's URL in the corresponding fields and press Save Info. You'll need to get the profile picture for your page. You can either upload it from your computer or import it from a website. Choose accordingly and click on Next. Specify if you want to add your Facebook page to your favorites or if you prefer to skip this step. The last step will ask you to define an audience to advertise your content to. Let's skip this step altogether because that is a subject for a different video. So just click Skip. Now your Facebook page is ready. Don't forget to add a cover image to make it more posh. Sharing links that are sure to go viral. Sharing a link to make it viral on Facebook is as easy as posting something on your wall. However, this time you'll be sharing content from your viral website through its Facebook page. So certain rules apply. Remember, you're trying to reach as many people as possible. First, you have to create a compelling headline before you add the content link to your post. Your headline should have an opening line that denotes and describes a personal connection with the content. Make it short and to the point. After this opening line, add a relevant question. These are the two most important elements in your headline. You can also add hashtags and tags when possible, because this can help you increase outreach in some cases. Adding calls to action are important too. People will complete an action only if you instruct them to do it. For example, you can invite your viewers to read and share. Once you create your headline, insert your link. You'll see that an image box will appear with your featured image, which means that you can delete the link introduced. People will be redirected to your content when they click on the image box. You can add a call to action to the title of your content and edit the description below the image box. Save on Publish, and you're done. Scheduling your viral posts. If you want your content and your posts to go viral on a schedule, or if you want to reach people on a specific date and time, you'll just have to click on the arrow button beside the Publish button and select Schedule to enter a date and time to release your posts. Reaching organic traffic. 
the best way to reach more and more people and get more and more shares is through organic traffic. Organic traffic will actually lead you to people genuinely interested in your content. To attract organic traffic to your site, it will be as easy as following these guidelines. Making your Facebook page highly relevant both to Facebook and its users. Complete your About page. Invite people to like your page using the Invite Friends to Like This Page button. Make sure to post content at least five times a day. Use a combination of articles, videos, images, memes, and updates. Doing this will increase the chances of your page appearing in the top and trending results when people search keywords on Facebook. It will also help you appear in search engine results. Place Facebook Like buttons on your viral website. Create a discussion group and be an active member. That is how we leverage the power of Facebook to grow your viral business.